Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What then shall we say in response to all these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? After saying this, what can we add? If God is for us, who can be against us? And that's a rhetoric. So we have to keep reflecting. If God is for us, who can be against us? Of course we have enemies. Of course there are people against us. But God's power is always there. And God's power is stronger. So we live in a world where we battle against good. Sorry, in, we live in a world and the battle is between good and evil. And every day we are called to make the best possible choice. Every day we are called to make the most prudent choice. Most times we choose good, I hope. Sometimes we choose bad. Today we say, Lord, we want to believe that you are with us. And if you are with us, no one can be against us. So although we are experiencing difficulties, troubles, trials, temptations, we say, Lord, continue to strengthen Continue to motivate, continue to guide us along the straight path. Continue, con Jesus, we invite you into our lives. And we ask you to help us to continue to guide us along the straight and narrow path, the only path. And we raise our voices in prayer and worship and we say, Lord, we thank you because you are with us. No one can be against us. Bless us, O oh Lord. Guide us, O oh Lord. Motivate, encourage us as we say. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.